Whoa, what's going on, everybody? My name is Russ Collins, and I am the CEO of Ozark Mix DJ and Ozark Picks photo booths in beautiful Northwest Arkansas. And I got to be honest with you today, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little excited at the same time. This is the first time that we're going live on every single platform. I'm right here on TikTok. What's up, TikTok fam? Um, and I'm right here on YouTube, Facebook, all of the places uh, to just talk about lowering our anxiety around the wedding ceremony and choosing ceremony music. So if you are getting married this year in 2023, first of all, let me just say an enormous congratulations. We are so excited for you. Way to go. Uh, I see a bunch of people on TikTok. If you're getting married, shoot me a high five. Let me know in the comments if you're getting married. Um, but today we're going to talk about a couple of things, okay? We're going to talk about lowering anxiety on the ceremony side and picking music uh, to go along with that. And so here's the deal, y'all. I have so many couples. We do about 200 uh, weddings a year. And uh, last year we did almost 200. And I would say the question that I'm asked the most from all of our couples is, Russ, how do I choose my music? I, I am, and people get so anxious about it, y'all. Like they, like they start really freaking out. And what ends up happening is they compare sort of themselves to maybe people that they've attended a wedding in the past and they thought it was awesome and they want it to be super great. And I get all of that and I want that for you. Um, I want you to have an incredible experience. But here's my number one tip when I talk to uh, couples, brides, grooms, um, moms, dads who are choosing music for the ceremony. It's this, is choose something that is super meaningful to you. It may be this crazy, obscure song. You guys, this morning, in fact, I'm gonna grab my notes real quick because I don't wanna, I don't wanna forget anything. But this morning, I actually had a couple of calls with a few, um, a few couples, okay? I had three consoles before I got on uh, live with you guys today. Y'all, I, I talked to this, this uh, couple that's getting married next Friday. And I had never in my life heard of any of the songs that they picked for their ceremony. And, and y'all, I got to be honest with you. I'm so excited about it. TikTok. I'm so excited about it because that just means that they're choosing music that means something to them. They're not going with the trend. They're not going with the normal thing. They've picked songs that mean something to them. And so here's a couple of things that you might want to think about when it comes to that. Is it, is that, is there a song that means something to you that could actually uh, really display culturally who you are? Like, is that what you want your guests to experience? Do you want your guests to experience the culture in which you've grown up and get to know you a little bit more? Maybe that's a song that you use uh, in your ceremony piece of walking down the aisle or your exit. Um, but maybe it's it's something that you grew up listening to, or maybe it's something that means something to you as a couple. Like th those are things that I want everybody to start thinking about when they're choosing their music for their ceremony. So I wrote a couple of notes here, you guys, um, and I want to just go over them quickly. This will, this live, this, this podcast will take about 20 minutes, I think. And, um, I would love to know, especially on TikTok, I would love to know if you're getting married in 2023. So hit me with a, I'm getting married, Russ, in 2023 and tell me where you're getting married. I would love to, I would love to know that. Um, but so here, <laughs> here's the number one thing that happens with people when they're getting married is that they are so stressed out about the format. And I've got three tips for making your ceremony less stressful. TikTok, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, YouTube. I'm talking to you, Facebook. Here's three tips to make your ceremony less stressful. Number one. I need you to realize and I need you to recognize 
that it is going to be over before you know it. So the thing about it is, is that you don't have to endure <laughs> this lengthy situation for very long. I talk to my wife all the time and I'm like, man, I can do anything for 30 minutes. Like just throw me into it. I could do it. I could deal with the awkwardness. I could deal with the, the, um, you know, whatever it may be. Um, I can deal with anything for 30 minutes, but you kind of cut that in half. Most ceremonies you guys last between 10 and 15 minutes. That is the average of our ceremonies here. And the, the, the other average is, is that typically they are three to four songs at most five songs, okay? So I just want you to think about that you don't have to think about so many songs, you guys. There's, on, there's only a three to five choices, that's it, okay? And so it's gonna be over way more quickly than you think it's going to be. Okay. I promise you TikTok. I promise you it's only going to last 15 to 20 minutes. All right. YouTube. It's only going to last 20 minutes. All right. So lower your anxiety by thinking about, Hey, I can do anything for 20, 30 minutes. I can, I promise. All right. So it's going to be done quickly. And the second thing, the tip that I want to give you for sort of living a less stressful life on your wedding day surrounded by your ceremony is people get it, you guys. People get that ceremonies are not something that you do personally every single day. It is something that I do a lot, okay? And y'all, I, I kind of get stressed out a little bit around ceremonies. It happens. But the, the situation is, is everybody that's at your wedding understands that this is the first time, maybe, that, that you've ever done this, okay? And, and they show you a whole lot of grace. There's a lot of grace involved in the ceremony, okay? And most people expect something crazy to happen. They just do. They expect something sort of crazy to happen. So don't worry about, you know, if if something goes wrong, if a cue is missed, if if you feel like, you know, uh, you know, maybe there's a detail that was missed. Just just recognize that people understand that. And then my third way for you to live a less stressful ceremony life is pretty simple is I want you to embrace the moment, embrace the moment. It's th this is what you uh, led everything, all the planning, all the things, everything that um, has been going on up until now, however long that you've been planning your wedding, this is the moment that you've been waiting for. And I want you to embrace it. I just want you to grab a hold of it with both hands and I want you to embrace it, all right? So those are the three tips that I would give before you even begin to select music, okay? Listen, here's the second thing that I get an email about. Russ, I can't decide. I just don't know um, what music I should should enter the wedding to. I just don't know what, um, you know, what music to use for the exit. And I said this in the intro, I want you to focus on 100% of the choices that you make, that they are meaningful to you. Please, 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 please do not go to Google and be like best wedding ceremony songs. Because guess what is going to happen? Here's what's going to happen is you're going to get a list that is created by someone who is not you. <laughs> they, they, they are creating lists for views and for blog posts and all the things out there. I promise you guys coming from a wedding DJ who this is all I do. This is it. This is it is, um, is I want you to make this meaningful for you. Okay. So if there's a song that this, this, this has been happening a lot more often, which has really, really been fun is, um, a bride and groom and or both will want to surprise the other with the song 
that they're choosing to come down the aisle to. And a couple of weeks ago, I had a bride surprise uh, a groom with a song that they danced their first dance to. And that's what she walked down the aisle to. And it was amazing. Like it was so cool. There wasn't a dry eye in the place. Why? Because the groom literally like loses it right there on the spot because he's so excited about that song. And so if you don't choose something that's meaningful, it'll just, you'll just go through the motions and it'll just be sort of a song. I, I will say just in my own experience, I remember uh, the music that my wife and I chose for our uh, time, you know, just during the ceremony and it's Coldplay Fix You. And every single time that that song comes on, we just, there's something that goes on in my heart because it's super cool. Um, because I remember that day, 17 years ago, uh, when that song is was so meaningful and is still so meaningful to us. And so when I listen to that song, I immediately think of my wife, Jamie. And so I want you to just think about and lower your expectations and just pick something that means something to you and that means something to the person that you're getting married to. So that's super important. Um, and uh, I, I think it'll help you. All right, so let's talk format for this ceremony, okay? Um, you know, a lot of people stress out about this part. A lot of people stress out about like, what's it supposed to look like? So I'm gonna give you sort of an insider uh, look into planning your ceremony, just from someone who does ceremonies all the time. I'm, I'm on average, I'm at a wedding three times a weekend. So I see a lot of ceremonies. Um, so let's just talk through the format really quick. Okay. And these are things that just don't have to stress you out, you guys, like you can do this. All right. So the format is this is most of the time, what ends up happening is the minister will walk in along with, uh, right after the grandparents. So the grandparents and parents typically walk in first, then the, the groom who has been sort of escorting a couple of people, they will walk in with the minister and they will stand at the front together. So they, that is one song that you would want to just pick for yourself. And, um, and you know, it, it needs to just be something that means something to you. And you need to just realize that it's only about a minute and a half. Like it is a short section of a song. I've seen this go really well, um, you know, for like as instrumentals. Um, I've seen this go really well of songs that the groom sort of grew up on because most of who is uh, sort of in that moment with them are people that are in his family or her family. And, and so like when, when we're talking bride and bride, groom and groom um, weddings. Okay. So just, Again, it goes right back to pick something that's meaningful, recognize that it's only going to be about a, a minute and a half. Okay. So don't stress out about it. So you're going to walk in. Then the next is going to be your, your bridesmaids and or brides people. And so they're going to walk down the aisle. That song, as long as you don't have 10 <laughs> to 15 people uh, in your bridal party, then usually that song needs to be about a minute and a half. That's it. And, and your DJ and or the person that's running your ceremony can always loop that, that dude back and it, it'll feel seamless. So if you pick a shorter song, that's okay. It can be looped back. I got a question here from TikTok and it says, when do I send an itinerary for the wedding couple? I tell them to make songs up that mean a lot to both of us. That's perfect. So it sounds like, I think uh, I, I read that wrong, but someone's saying whenever they send the itinerary to uh, the, their couple, make sure that the songs mean something to you. I love that. I love that DJ in the house. I appreciate that comment because that's what it's all about. It's all about doing something that's meaningful to you. All right. So, so when you're walking in again, 10 to 15 <laughs> bridesmaids and or groomsmen, that might be a little much, but I promise you about a minute and a half of a song is plenty. Okay. Is plenty. Then you're going to have the bridal 
the, the, the song, the bridal song or the groom song. If we've got two grooms, this is going to be the epic moment again, a uh, super important moment, but not one that you have to just totally stress out about and, and worry about. Okay. Pick something that's meaningful. So that's next. So again, I'm going to just go over these so that everybody's done. Cause we got people jumping on and jumping off at the same time. So we got people walking in, groom, everybody's up front. Uh, we got, we've got a uh, bridal party has made their way in. Now it's bride time. And here we go. Open the doors or come in from the back. Here's the bride and you're good to go. So the next part of the ceremony is going to be this. The bridal march and or whatever you choose. Um, again, something meaningful to you. You'll walk down again. It's about a minute and a half, depending on how long the venue is or how wide or however, you know, it just depends. But again, if you've hired a, a DJ or an engineer for your ceremony, they are well equipped and they can just loop that guy back right back on top and just move things forward. All right. It, it, it's you do not have to stress out about it. All right. Then the next thing is, is the minister is going to ask for you to state your intentions. And so you'll state your intentions. I want to marry you. You want to marry me. Let's get this party started. And then however you are, if you're a traditional couple, a lot of times the minister will, uh, or the person who's doing the ceremony will give some scripture and give some insight on what marriage is. If, if that's not your flavor, then you would just kind of move into what marriage means and like how that kind of goes in again, no musical choices here. Then you move into your vows. Then you move from your vows to your ring. And then you exchange your rings. And then the next piece that you might need music for, okay, you might need music for this, is like a unity ceremony. And I've seen this a couple of different ways. One, um, we, we've seen a lot of this lately where people are pouring like sand like one color sand here, another color sand here. And each of the couple are, are, are doing this, symbolizing that their lives are going to go together. That would be a piece that you would want a little bit of music for, because honestly, dead space right there is a little awkward. So I would just have some music for that unity ceremony. If you've got one, if that makes sense for you, then that's awesome. So your unity ceremony, you're going to do that. That is literally you guys depending on how, how quickly you can pour sand into a pot or you can make that move is literally like 30 to 45 seconds so again don't sweat that but just pick something that means something to you and you'll be good to go and then guess what when your unity is over you come back together the minister pronounces you husband and wife and everybody, 196 people on TikTok said, what's up? That's amazing. Here's Mr. and Mrs. What? Or Mrs. and Mrs. What? Or Mr. and Mr. What? And it's going to be awesome. And here's the deal. All right. Then your last piece of music is this. Your exit music my man dj in the house knows what i'm talking about my man music to exit to now let me tell you this you want to set the tone for whatever is next right so if you want your cocktail hour or your reception whichever one you're going to if you want that to be upbeat choose an upbeat song okay Here's what happens is sometimes people fall flat. They will choose a, th there's a, there's a psych psyche that goes on with, within uh, weddings, you guys, and just take it from me, a person who does this, does this a lot. There's a, there's a mental game that I play with guests all the time is that whatever energy that music is providing as you're leaving the ceremony is the energy that you'll take into the reception. If you want your reception to be lit, make sure that your next move with your ceremony exit is upbeat. All right, here's a couple of songs that never, 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 never disappoint. Okay. Sign still delivered. <laughs> For some reason it is traditional. A lot of people love it. Um, and it's used a lot, but here's the deal all ages of people that are going to be represented at your ceremony know this song 
Okay. And so they're kind of bopping their head. They're moving science, deliver, I'm yours. And they just kind of sing it and they walk out and they're just like, boom. And they get to that next piece of the, uh, the, the event and they're just ready to go. And then you light them up with cocktail music. That's really good. And your reception is on. It's on, it's, it's fire that one, or even, even a song that's, you know, a little underrated is this will be everlasting by Natalie Cole. That's a good one to sort of leave to. Um, the other day I had people leave to, uh, forever by Chris Brown. That's a good one. I use that one in intros a lot. Um, but there's just a couple of things that, you know, you want to use now there's, there's, there are others that are starting to get a lot more popular, like Harry Styles tunes or, uh, you know, any hip hop tunes that you're loving. I mean, shoot, I had somebody leave to some Drake the other day. Um, Beyonce's break my soul is a good one. Like there's a lot of different things that have been going on lately in, in ceremonies, but look, you can be as creative as you want to be, but what you want to make sure that you're paying attention to is the next thing that you're going to go to as you leave your ceremony, set the tone with the music that you choose. Okay. And make sure that your DJ or engineer has that music at a volume to where everybody can hear it and that it would encourage people to engage in it and maybe sing along. You know what I mean? So like, it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's a tip that I have. If, if you agree with me, TikTok, let me know. If you've been to a wedding and you've sang along as you've left, let me know. Anyway, I, I just I just want people to understand that it it is not it is not something that you need to stress out about. It is not something that you need to spend a lot of time worrying about. And it's not a lot, it's not something that I want you to compare yourself to others to. Um you know, I think that's where, where a lot of couples get really off is they begin to think about, again, maybe a sibling that got married or a friend that got married or, or a, a wedding that they went to or, or whatnot. And they just begin to do this like comparison game. And we all do that. We all, we all get that. I understand that. Um, but, you know, don't do that when you're choosing music. Okay. Choose something that's super important. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back through this list for people who have just joined us. Okay, a couple of tips to keep you stress free at your ceremony. Number one, realize it is gonna be done way before you know it. Way before you know it. Number two, people understand if something goes wrong. I put up a, a YouTube video. Those of you who are watching on YouTube, uh, just yesterday, in fact, of a ceremony where I was in and literally the bride was walking down the aisle and in the middle of the ceremony, right as she's walking down the aisle, all of the music stopped. We lost power to the building and I was plugged in at the building. It wasn't my fault, but I felt awful because we don't get that moment back. Guess what? The bride just walked right on up to the front. Everybody got it. They understood it wasn't a big deal. Finally, the power comes back on. I learned from that experience. I never have had that happen again because I bought some battery powered systems, but it is what it is. These things happen. Okay. And people understand it. It's a wedding. You don't do this every day. Just cut yourself some slack. It's all good. Third thing is embrace the moment. Y'all, it's the biggest day of your life. Enjoy it. Have so much fun. You are going to have an incredible time at your wedding. Embrace the moment. Embrace that it's the day is here. Embrace that all your friends are here to celebrate with you and then go from there. The, the biggest piece to choosing ceremony music, the biggest piece to choosing ceremony music is please, please, please choose music that is 100% meaningful to you. That you can look back in my case, I'm looking back 17 years. Every time I hear that Coldplay song play, I get goosebumps, man. Something in my heart just does something so fun. I want to call my wife right then and just be like, I love you so much. Um, just choose something that's meaningful to you. Don't, don't Google best ceremony songs. 
because that won't mean anything to you. It, it, it doesn't matter what Google thinks is the best ceremony song for you. Okay. If you need some help, um, choosing ceremony music, DM me, hit me up. I've got all kinds of uh, PDF lists and things that we've curated over the last couple of years. I would be honored to, to help you with that. Um, we also have just kind of a bridal couple newsletter um, that if you DM me and hit me up, I can send over to you. I would be honored to, um, to send you some info and help you plan uh, the best day of your life. Um, Y'all, it has been a wonderful time. We're about out of time here. I promised you guys 25 to 30 minutes and we've done that. And TikTok for the first time ever going live. This was amazing to all my people in the comments for DJ in the house. Thank you so much for engaging brother. Um, Y'all go do it. Congratulations to everybody who's getting married in 2023. If you need something, if you need a DJ and you live in uh, the Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, or Missouri area, look us up, ozarkmixdj.com. We would love, we would love to be a part of your celebration. We have seven teams and we do over 200 weddings a year. We offer photo booths and um, I really do feel like my, my team is the best team on the planet. And I would love to either be there myself or send one of our beautiful, beautiful teammates out to help you celebrate. Y'all have a wonderful day. Best year yet, 2023. Have a good one, everybody. See ya.